Hello Scale Modelers from YouTube and welcome to my channel. Let's go back to the 80s and let me share with you a rare model kit that I built when I was young of one of the most successful rally cars of that time, the Fiat 131 Abarth. But first, let's have a look at some historical background of this magnificent car. In 1975 Fiat felt the need to replace its rally car of the time, the 124 Spider. And at that time, following its usual policy of the family car that wins races, decided to create it, based on one of its most recent family models of then, the 131 Mirafiori, a car perfectly adapted to competition. Regarding the family model that served as its base, the 131 Abarth has of course, several profound modifications, like the replacement of various components of the body with others made of fiber and aluminum in order to reduce weight. A new 1995 cubic centimeters engine, derived from the engine of the Fiat 132 to which the power of 140 horsepower is attributed in the normal version or 235 horsepower at 7,500 rpm in the racing version. Also replaced were the gearbox and the rear suspension, this one with independent wheels. Of the Fiat 131 Abarth, 400 examples were built, with a view to its homologation in Group 4, which came to fruition on April 1, 1976. In the sporting chapter itself, the biography of the 131 Abarth began with the unofficial participation in the Rally 100 Milia Trabucci in 1975. Its first official rally was made on March 28, 1976 in the Ronde de Touraine, still in Group 5. Starting then a long series of successes, of which the first victory in a European Championship event, the 1976 Elba Rally, with Marco Allen. And the first victory in a World Championship event, the Rally of the 1000 Lakes, in 1976. Driven by Marco Allen and Ilka Kivimaki, the car proved to be fast, a good handler and totally reliable save for a spark plug which dropped its entire center electrode, complete with porcelain, into a cylinder and caused a valve to fail. For almost the whole of the second half of the rally, the car ran on virtually three cylinders, but Allen was nevertheless able to stave off the opposition. As a rally machine, the 131 was a most impressive car and rival teams needed to viewing it with a great deal of concern. They finished the 428 km race in 4 hours 10 minutes 18 seconds, that translates to an average of just over 100 km per hour. In its long history, the 131 Abarth won the World Rally Championship three times, 1977, 1978, 1980, for which it won 17 races until 1980. For the European Championship, the 131 Abarth also won 25 races until 1980. Among the races that most adapted to the versatility of the Fiat 131 Abarth, there is the Rally of Portugal in which the car had four victories in as many participations, three times by the hand of Marco Allen. In these four editions of the Rally of Portugal, two of them will have been unforgettable for Fiat, the one in 1978, in which the final victory was discussed at the second between the Fiat 131 Abarth of Marco Allen and the Ford Escort of Hanu Mikola, and the one in 1981, in which after a spectacular accident in the third qualifying race that left Allen's car in terrible condition, ended up, thanks to a series of events that were favorable to him, to win the rally again. If we go back in history and propose to remember one of the most exciting editions of the Rally of Portugal, we will have to go back to 1978. In that year, the fight for victory lasted until the last night, when the winding roads of Sintra witnessed, one of the most epic and memorable chapters in rally history.
Marku Allen and Hanu Mikola are responsible for giving thousands of spectators a sleepless night at the 1978 Port Wine Rally in Portugal when they led an epic duel in the headlights to the Sintra Mountains. Allen only took command at the start of the last stage, adding his Fiat 131 Abarth, 11 seconds ahead of Mikola's Ford Escort RS1800. With 12 legs to go through on asphalt surfaces, where none of the drivers was an expert, Mikola was swallowing seconds after seconds, until he took the lead by 4 seconds with just one stage to go. But then fate spoke louder. The Ford got a flat tire, and Allen was definitely on the way to victory. The 1981 Rally of Portugal is also historic for Fiat. Marco Allen, driving the Fiat 131 Abarth, was the protagonist of what is perhaps the biggest recuperation in the history of the World Rally Championship. Previous winner of this event on no less than three occasions, Marco Allen in the world of Fiat. The Finn made a mistake on the second stage of the rally when he cut too far into a corner and ripped off the front right wheel of the 131 Abarth. It's a very fast area where we reached 150 to 160 kilometers per hour, and when I cut a right turn, I hit a rock, recalled Alan. The collision was violent and tore the wheel off. Spectators helped to put the car on the road and the driver dragged himself for about 10 kilometers on three wheels. The assistance team worked miracles to get the 131 Abarth in condition to be able to continue, and Allen launched himself from there, in a mad recovery, towards his fourth victory in the race. And finding his way back after a serious fourth-stage accident is yet another Finn, Marco Allen. He's already clawed relentlessly up the leaderboard from 35th to 5th place. Maximum attack was the watchword, and Allen won, but at the expense of the misfortunes of Mikola, with Audi Quattro, and Vatanen, with Ford RS 1800. Mikola retired with the Audi's engine broken and Vatanen inherited control, for two stages before going off the road. As Toivonen, with Talbot's Sunbeam Lotus, was late with a stop to change a tire, Allen took over. At the end of the race, 9 minutes and 10 seconds separated the two drivers. So Marco, it's been a very eventful rally for you. Okay, yes, I say all the time, I'm lucky man, you know, everybody retires, but anyway, all the time, I go, go, and also I go fast, you know, and all the time flat out, and I'm a little bit lucky, you know, Hanu retired, and also Ari, and, uh, and you know, and I'm leading in ten and a half minutes. Stages around Sintra provide a fanfare finale to Alain's triumph. For Marco Alain, the spoils of victory. Just four stages after the rally began, his car was a three-wheeled also ran. Yet four days later, here he is, a tough competitor in a tough motor car. In addition to the thrill of a rally where Marku Allen ran from back to front, this was the last victory of the Fiat 131 Abarth in the World Rally Championship, but the car will have a guaranteed place in the history of world rallies. Let me show you now my build. As I said at the beginning of the video, I built this kit back in the 80s. Fortunately, survived, even during the long time I was away from the hobby. It was in a box until 2019, and now it's on a display shelf, as it should be and deserves. It's a rare kit, I think released only for Portugal, since it's not even described in the Scalemate site. Unfortunately, I no longer have the original box, but I still have the instruction sheet. Of course, there are several other versions of the Fiat 131 Abarth, and with this same livery, but from other rallies. 
In this case, it was specifically the winner of the 1981 Rally of Portugal, driven by Marco Allen and having his co-driver Lka Kivimaki. To finish the video, I have here more detailed photos of the kit. Obviously, it's not a high-quality build, but for the skills I had at the time, it's quite acceptable. It was all hand-painted, as I always did back then, and as the decals were of poor quality, even the stripes and the three shades of blue had to be touched up by hand. But for me this kit has a great sentimental value, not only because it was my very first rally car that I built, but mainly because it was from the Rally of Portugal in 1981. I love this car, and I've been thinking about doing this video for some time. As you can imagine, I enjoyed making the video, for the good memories it brought me, and for remembering the images of rallies from that time, with those exciting races. I have very good recordings as a big fan of rallying in the 80s, when every year the big event was the night of Sintra, when we would see the cars of the Portugal rally racing on those narrow roads. Thank you for watching and thank you to all my subscribers. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below with any question or feedback. See you in the next video.